Hello and welcome to another episode of Web Learning, where knowledge is shared. In this episode, I'll continue explaining about the Blue Energy Dash One of the STM32 GUI, and I'll show how to use it. So, if you haven't seen my previous video, I recommend to go back and see it because this will also help you in this tutorial. And in order to use the Blue Energy GUI, we'll have first to, to install some code on the STM32L1 that's located on the board and we'll do the UR to SPI communication. Going back to the navigator, we need to demonstration application, PLE demonstration and test application, DTM, and release UR 16 MHz. Flash and run. Okay, now that it's finished, we can close this. So coming back to the software, what I need to do now is look for the correct COM port and click open. As you can see, I'm getting all the packets and everything is gray as it should be. If you have any issues, you'll have it either yellow or red. Also on the right side of the window, I get the BlueRGG hardware and firmware that's on the board. The software has few tabs. The ACI commands holds all the commands that you have in BLE. So if you have GAP, GAT, HS, HCI, test, HAL, HCI, L2CAP, so you can see all the instructions and we'll use them at the later stage. Then you have ACI utilities. This is how to quickly test the communication between the BLE and your mobile phone or any other device. Scripts is another window that you can click browse and then really quickly open different examples like Billy Bacon or multiple connections and other different scenarios that you can quickly load. Those examples are written in Python and all you need to do is click one of them, click open and run script. Another tab is Beacon. You just need to put the address the company identifier and set beacon and that's it and RF test this is a test for the transmitter and receiver coming back to ACI utilities in order to see the blue energy one in the mobile phone all you need to do is click in it device set the correct parameters if you have your own public key or a random key set role as all set device name length as 7 here you can change your name to for example web learning again this is only 7 so I can only put 7 characters high power and set blue energy device name click OK you can see that everything is fine and job is finished and now I click advertising now I'm setting my Blue Energy One to transmit so my mob the mobile phone can find it. Here I can see the selected mode, the advertising type, the advertising filter policy, own address type, the advertising interval, so how long between each interval the Blue Energy One will transmit. This save the slave connection interval, the set local name, and local name is the same as I put on the other window. I click OK. Everything is fine. And as you can see, in my mobile phone, I can see the Bolo Energy One. I can click now Connect. And I see I'm connected. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and I'll load a more detailed video the next time. Thank you.